I've got the Samsung Galaxy S25 and today I'll be showing you how to set up an eSIM. So the S25 on S25 Ultra phones do have provision for eSIM. And so if you go into settings and then go to connections and then under connections, you should see SIM manager, tap on that. It's gonna check for available SIM cards And then now you can see this is how the slots for the two physical SIM cards because this particular unit also allows you to put two physical nano SIM cards and also you can add an eSIM, right? So to add an eSIM, just tap on add eSIM. Now, the way you add your eSIM mainly depends on how your, your service provider gives you your eSIM. Now, some service providers will give you, uh, most of them will give you a QR code either sent to your email or you're gonna get a physical card with that QR code. For instance, my provider gives me this little card and there's a QR code underneath this little uh, piece of paper, as you can see. I'm obviously hiding it for obvious reasons. So what I need to do is tap on scan QR code and then that will open up the QR code scanner. And then now let's go ahead and scan this QR code, which I'll do obviously uh, with the camera off. So once I scan the QR code, it's going to detect that it's a uh, it's an eSIM from my service provider, as you can see. Now, just before we continue, I'm gonna mention something I almost forgot. Make sure your phone is connected to a Wi-Fi network or some sort of internet connection. You might have another uh, physical SIM card which has internet connection because a few files are gonna need to be downloaded onto the phone to finish setting up the eSIM, right? So for me, I have Wi-Fi connected, so I should be good to go. So I can now tap on add. Now it's going to download the files necessary to set up my eSIM. So all I have to do now is just wait. You can see the progress. So once it's done, it's gonna ask for the pin. My service provider sent me a pin. And as soon as I enter it, you can just tap on okay. And my SIM card is now unlocked. Just like that. So you can see now my SIM card is unlocked, ready to use. And you can even see the network bars at the top here showing that I have network and I'm ready to go. Now that's going to be registered, uh, registered as my eSIM one, okay? Now, if you want to, you can add another eSIM. In fact, I have another eSIM. I'm just gonna add straight away. If I just tap here, I can add another eSIM and you can add as many eSIMs or eSIM profiles as you want. But since this is a dual SIM Galaxy S25, you can only have two, a maximum of two SIM cards active at the same time, either two physical SIM cards or one physical and one eSIM or two eSIMs, okay? So it's only two SIM cards that can be active at the same time. So if I want to just scan another QR code, I can even search for eSIMs from nearby phones, depending on whether your service provider gives you that option, okay? So that is basically how to add or set up an eSIM on your Samsung Galaxy S25. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section and we will get back to you there or in the next one. Good luck.